Hello, I'm Mr. Klingler, and today we're going to talk about right-hand rule force. This right-hand rule often is used to find the direction of a force acting on a charged particle moving through a magnetic field. Let's set up the rules. Use your right hand. Keep it flat. Thumb points in the direction of the moving charge. Fingers point in the direction of the field lines. Palm pushes in the direction of the force. Let's try an example. What's the direction of the force on this particle? Thumb in the direction of moving positive charge. Fingers in the direction of B. Palm pushes. This force must be out of the board. Once again, V. Fingers point in B. Palm pushes. Notice that you might have to contort your hand quite a bit. If you find your hand doesn't bend that way, you need to reorient your wrist in order to make the proper um, connections. Let's try another example. What's the direction of the force this particle experiences? V, keep my hand flat. X is mean B is into the board. Palm is pointing towards me. So the force on this particle must be this way. Let's consider another example. I have a positively charged particle coming out of the board towards the camera. It is between two magnets. What's the force it experiences? First, I have to determine the direction of the magnetic field. Field lines run from north to south, so... Okay. V, flat hand... Hmm. V, Fingers in the direction of B, palm points down. Final example. Okay, let's try this one. V points in the direction of the moving particle. B points in the direction of field lines. Palm pushes in the direction of the force. However, notice this is a negative charge. It's going to do the exact opposite of whatever a positive charge would do. Therefore, I'll find what happens using the right hand rule and just flip, my, flip the direction at the end. V, B, palm pushes, but it's an electron, 
So the force must be in that direction. Thank you very much for watching.